Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Mass Attack. The last episode, we did Stage 5, and only Stage 5, because the levels are going to start getting a bit longer. I think they're really only going to get longer as we go, so... Especially for these, uh, five metal stages, like, back-to-back. -back, expect there to be, like, one stage per video to be the norm now, instead. Just because that's how it is. But anyway, we're going to do Stage 6 in this video, so, um... Let's get straight to that. Obviously... Um, this is, we unlock stage 6 of, um, by doing something special in stage 5. Look at last video to see how to do that. And also, Waddle Dees with bombs! Oh my goodness! They're actually a dangerous enemy. No freaking way. So, uh, watch out, because bombs obviously can destroy your entire squad of Kirby's and they kill you in one hit. So, uh, be careful about Waddle Dees. They are dangerous! Also, these coconut Waddle Dees are pretty cool, too, because they throw fruit at you. Which is pretty neat. You can just grab some extra fruit. There's really no reason to do this other than to get fruit, but I don't... I just feel like getting the fruit, so, um... They'll always throw one to the middle, one to the left, and one to the, um, right, so, not necessarily in that order, but they'll always, in like, one session, they'll always do that, so, uh, look at where he throws the fruit and use that as a way to know where to go, I guess, um, as a way to know, um, where is safe and where isn't safe, because obviously coconuts will hurt you, that's never good. Anyway, these things, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and let it fall, um, they'll reset to the, if, to, to, their uh, highest state when they uh, hit the ground. So you juggle them basically five times, and you'll get the goodies inside. So they're juggle, they're juggle bubbles. Yay for juggle bubbles! I don't know, I'm weird. Anyway, um, you'll get a bunch of fruit from that, so that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, stage six is kind of a more normal stage for once, which is interesting. But uh, I guess it's kind of like intro to Waddle Dee is because you'll be seeing a lot of these guys throughout the rest of stage three, obviously. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the fruit from this guy, because there's a melon there. Even though it's kind of a waste of time, I don't know, I just kind of- Hey, you threw the bananas right at me. You're such a kind gentleman. I will be sure to murder you when you're done. Give me your fruit. You will give me your fruit, and then you will die. Oh god, you now you're angry at me, and you're trying to actually hit, hit me. Alright, so we'll grab the, metal, the melon, and then we'll murder him. Melon, please, thank you. Now die. No, 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 coconut, 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 coconut. No, the melon's gone! <laughs> No, Melon, why? My attempt at murder, at premature murder, has cost me dearly. Get up, get, get, Kirby, get up there, thank you. Anyways, let's stop driving around the stage to actually uh, make progress. Seems like a good time. You are shaking, Melon! That means you're a fisherman guy. No, come back here with my Kirby. Get my, give me my Kirby. No, give me my Kirby back. Get down here. You die. Haha! <laughs> I don't like those guys. Try to fish at my Kirby's! So rude! Anyway, definitely murder these guys. They don't even have any fruit to give you, but um, they're gonna be a, a, in your way. Can you just like. Like, I always like when I'm trying to flick all my Kirby's onto someone, like, I accidentally like disengage them. That can be a pain in the ass, so maybe I should just take this a little bit slower. Might make my life a lot easier. There we go. Anyway, this door here, the reason I got rid of those Waldies is because obviously they can get in the way when you're trying to juggle this door, so, uh, just for safety you might want to- Where the- Oh my god, it's over there! Okay then, I was not expecting this! But anyway, doors, how do they work anyway? How do you bubble a door? That doesn't make any, any amount of sense. Also, I'm pretty sure we've been to a water level to get to this level, so this seems rather unnecessary. But anyway, you have any of these, many of these uh, sucking up guys, but really that's just a water section where if you just keep going fast, you'll be okay. So, really, what's the point of that? I don't know. But we have moles! Darn you, moles! You betrayed me back in stage green ground six! I must have my revenge! Actually, though, be careful when fighting these guys because these guys could easily make you lose your gold star if you're uh, not careful because they will. What are you doing? Get out of here. Because they're going to start shaking their thing here. And they're going to toss it. So you want to wait for him to throw it. Then run under him. And then murder him. But obviously, you know, trying to kill that guy can easily result in death. So it might not be in your best interest to do that. Also, this one's will drop red ones on top of your Kirby's, which is never a good time. I'm just going to get rid of them anyway. But um, they do have very obvious you know, points where you can kill them. So you can, if you're careful, get away with it. But, I mean, it is kind of a risk. So I might want to just, like... Avoid my usual, uh, oh, I gotta murder everyone philosophy, because that'll probably end up in, with me losing my gold star, and then I'm gonna be sad, but then again, like I said, I'm not going for the gold stars now, and maybe, 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 just maybe, if I feel like I could do it, I might, uh, go for all the gold stars after, 
I, d I beat the game and do it like a post thing. But, um, like I said, if I don't get the gold star, you know it's not the end of the world! Anyway, there's these scully guys. They're trying to steal our Kirby's and everything, so just go ahead and do the usual and murder them. And I should probably be murdering this red one because he's, he's actually the one who needs to die, so. Mr. Red Skull! I need you to go away! Hey, hey, hey. Scullies, Scullies, we had to talk about this last time. Back off. I beat your boss. Go away. Thank you. Anyways, do not be alarmed, because this will actually unlock the second medal, as you can see. Don't be alarmed. I was actually al very alarmed the first time I did this, and I was like, where did I miss the medal? No, the, the, the first medal is actually right here, so really, um, there's no need to be alarmed, because really, nothing bad happened. Anyway, you're going to do a little shaky shake? Good. And then he's going to toss it, and then we murder him. You know, honestly, it's not a bad idea to just get the guy out of the way, because he can be a pain in the ass. But yeah, I guess the first medal's a little bit after the second medal, which is... It's kind of like breaking the formula there. I don't know. I I, question, I don't think that was the, the, the order should have been like that, because that definitely made me panic a little bit. But no, we're safe. Oh god, this section. Oh god. Um, so basically, it, you, you can tilt these things, and uh, you'll, you basically just tilt the blocks around and uh, get stuff that's clinging to the sides somehow. Gravity, how do you work? But, uh, there's definitely some interesting enemies that they use along with these things, which now make me realize just how tough getting a gold star on this level actually is going to be! So, um, have fun, I guess. Because there's definitely, um, th th these cube sections definitely get interesting later on in this level. Um, which might actually be happening very soon, yeah. Oh god, it's Cannibal, it's Cannibal Octorok! It's a freaking Octorok! I don't, are these guys supposed to be a reference to an Octorok? Because those guys definitely look like an Octorok. It's a wind-up Octorok, and then you, you pull out its little key thing and it, deflates. I, I I don't understand. But uh, you do have to definitely be careful. Obviously, you can only attack these guys from behind. If you try to attack the normal, you're actually going to get stunned, which will make you easy prey for them. So um, definitely be careful. These guys, they can obviously kill you really fast. And as you can imagine, what's going to happen now is they're going to be on the cube. Which means we actually have to rotate it in such a way that we end up behind him. Because obviously, if you end up in front of him, it's a really big pain in the ass to try to fly over him, like to drag your Kirby's and go over him. So you want to tilt the, cur the cubes in a way that basically uh, makes it so you're behind him. So you have to very, very specifically tilt the cubes in order to do that. Um, and if you don't, have fun getting hit because it'll be really easy for you to get hurt if you do it otherwise. So I believe that okay, there definitely is another guy. Which side? Okay, he's on. He's on the. I, I want to be going the other. No, I want to be going. I want to be going. Which way do I want to be going? No, not this way. Yep, see, that's precisely why you don't want to do that. Okay, I gotta tilt this guy out of the way now. Get off the... Get on the other side. Go. Go on the other side! Dude, I don't want you here. Go away. Can, can we tilt the full length? Come on. Ah. I don't want... Fine, I guess I'll try flying over him, which is kind of really risky. Okay, I actually managed to do it that time. That's good. So, yeah, that's precisely why you want to tilt it the correct way, because else you'll get hurt like that. And now I'm not getting a gold star on this level, so... Darn it! Oh well, not the end of the world. Like I said, if it happens, it happens. So, get out of here, Blue Kirby. You're the reason why I'm not getting a gold star. I don't like you anymore. Also, there's a mole over there. I see you, Mr. Mole. Okay, get everyone up here. Everyone, okay, fine. You can stay down there, little Kirby. I don't need you up here. I don't need you to help. You don't need to help me. Go away, Kirby. And when Kirby's just like, I don't want to go up there. It's scary, man. Well, well, too bad, Kirby. Stay together. A little legion of Kirby's. Anyway, okay, there's a guy over there. I think there's two on this one, actually. Oh, there's it's a ten Kirby thing. So, damn it, I didn't want to rotate that way. I want to rotate it this way. You get a little beeping sound every time, which is kind of funny. Okay, now I can go ahead and murder this guy. Get out of here! And then you want to tilt it the other way, because there's another one of those little Octorok, those little cannon Octoroks, and he's facing the other direction. So if you do that, then you can fight this guy, kill him, and there's a door in there, which will obviously lead us to a metal. So... That's sort of how you maneuver this part safely. I mean, these guys aren't a threat, but they just easily can screw you over like they just did. And, uh... It's a tough section. It's definitely a tough section. Anyway, we obviously need to bring that key to that thing in order to get this metal. So what you need to do is basically you, you swim over here, you then go down here, and you go all the way around, which I think this isn't that like one of those electric fishes down here, so I need to be a bit careful. Yep, there he is. Goddamn electric fishes! Biggest pains in the ass underwater. Oh wait, he's he's all he's all he's not electricy. Kill him! 
I actually killed one of the electric fishes for once. And also, get out of here, Mr. Sucky Guy. I don't like you either. Freaking underwater and Get out of here, Mr. Electric Fish. You are not nice. Give me a... I missed it. Okay, no. Okay. I'm pretty sure that melon disappeared for like two seconds, but I somehow got it anyway. So... Yay for me. Oh, shit. No, no. That one Kirby who's a coward, he's now a hero because next to him I'm still able to get this. I almost messed that up. I almost forgot my entire purpose of going down there. Anyway, you pull this thing, and it actually ends up draining all the water, which is pretty cool. So, uh, those logs, basically, that we saw over there, they are solid. Um, they're kind of a new kind of platform we're going to be seeing, where uh, they float on the water, but otherwise they are solid. You cannot pass through them. So, as you can see, if you go over here, you can't. there's no way for us to get down here. You can't pass through from underneath, either. So, basically, you have to manipulate... You have to always manipulate the water in order to uh, raise or lower them. That is something we will definitely be seeing a lot of in future episodes. Uh, you see a lot of that whole raise and lower water mechanic. Actually, I think we're going to be seeing that even, like, in very in the very near future, future stages. So, expect a lot of raising and lowering water, is what I'm trying to say. Because um, those platforms will certainly be prominent in the future, if I remember correctly. Which I hope I do. I hope I actually do remember correctly. Else, I'm going to look kind of stupid. Anyway, we're going to go fishing! Oh shit, that's right. You actually have to wait. I was impatient! Okay, so wait for it to... You want to wait for it to be pulled on and then tap. I was tapping to continue! Didn't mean to do that. Anyway. Wait for it to pull under. I'm going to tap over here. Okay, wait for it to be pulled under. And then go! And... You get yourself a bunch of things, including a key, which is obviously uh, very important to getting a medal, so you probably want to grab that. And also one of these fishes, which... They may seem harmless now, but uh, wait till next episode. You will hate those fishes, so I will take every opportunity to murder them because they are evil. Also, there's really nothing down here, so uh, in case you're wondering, by the way, for those the, the, those rotate blocks, you can't ro you can you can't really uh, rotate them, so you can get your Kirby's underwater. There's there's really nothing there that's worthwhile. So uh, as much as you want to be like, hey, I could rotate them under shit, get out of there, Kirby. There's there's an evil fish that's trying to murder you, dude. You don't want to be down there. Hello, Mr. Evil Giant Spiky Fish. I don't like you. You kind of need to die. And he's also going to break all the metal blocks. And basically, the door, no! Yeah, he's, he, uh, somehow, once again, doors, how they work, the door rides on top of his head. And obviously, we're going to catch ourselves a Leviathan here. Well, it's not obviously a Leviathan, but we're going to have to catch ourselves a big one today, kids. Because, um, did I just, just say kids? We're going to have to catch ourselves a big one today, kids, because, uh, awfully big fish and he has our door so let's get him back so once again wait till it's pulled under wait for it wait for it wait for it and go 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 and you'll catch yourself the big giant fish and get yourself the door so uh there we go got ourselves a door always a good time i forget if this is the one with the treasure chest or if this is just a, a metal in itself i think this is the treasure chest down here if i remember correctly oh it's a golden waldy dude 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 get the golden waldy get the golden waldy get the golden waldy Oh god, get the golden waldy. Get the golden waldy. Get the golden waldy. Get the golden waldy. Waldy, come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. I sort of packed there completely for I, I somehow completely forgot this is where the golden waldy is, which um obviously the same as the golden bee bond. This will be worth uh an achievement that we're going to be getting now. But you also kind of have to come down here to get the treasure chest this time. So the golden bean bond is actually in a whole separate area. This one just gets you the uh the golden waldy and a medal at the same time. So uh the Golden Wild D achievement, a bit easier to get, but obviously if, if you let him keep going, he... I guess he wouldn't have murdered himself. I guess he doesn't get killed, he just sort of runs away. Huh. The Golden Wild D seems a bit easier than his, uh... than his counterpart in the Bean Bond form. But we got the Golden Wild D, we've murdered the Golden Wild D, which means we'll get an achievement after this, uh, this part, which is always a good thing, so, uh... There's that, but we still have a whole other metal to get. As you can see, like, looking at the time, this, these, these, these stages are getting, like, a whole length of, like, two old stages before now, so they do definitely increase in length. I'm gonna just stay down here. Oh, damn it. Whatever, it's not like I, I was, had a chance to get a gold star. Anyway, I already got hit once, so... Really didn't matter. I was kind of just purposely being reckless, because I don't really... It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, obviously we can head over here, and I think isn't the, the next... The, the last metal over here? Or am I just, like, am I just being silly by thinking that? I could possibly be, in, be being silly and thinking that the metal's over here, but, uh... Is it? Am I right? It is the metal. Okay, so here we go. 
final medal. Let's go ahead and make our way out of this stage now and uh, move on with our lives. Although, first, we actually have to do a... Uh, we have to make it through this section with a... Uh... Oh, wait, that's right. There's even a boss in the stage. I forgot. The stage is a boss. Man, we're not even close to done yet. So basically, intro to, once again, like before a boss, they always tend to introduce the mechanics. And basically, this guy shoots homing missiles at you. So, uh, well, the trick to avoid him for the most part is just to move really fast, because he takes a while to shoot his homing missiles, so if you off-screen him, then he's pretty much out of the way anyway. And it doesn't really matter. Also, I can go ahead and heal my Kirby here, which is kind of nice. Well, I want to take advantage of that. Hey, you're going to shoot homing missiles, and I don't... I don't want to get the thing over there. Oh, well. Obviously, it would just been fruit or bubbles, so... Obviously not really important, but we have ourselves another nice little boss to do today, who, uh... Essentially, his mechanic is he's going to uh, suck up everything and store them into those little pockets in his body. And like the eel boss from last episode, we're going to have to kill this guy in a very similar fashion. Also, you want to essentially uh, use this opportunity to grab the bubbles for starters and uh, not get sucked up by him. Because that will obviously kill your Kirby. And that's never a good time. So, uh, I don't know, it feels like we've seen a lot of these bosses lately where we just destroy segments of him. But basically, grab onto as many segments as you can. And uh, pull on them to destroy them. That's really all you have to do. So just wait for him to not be spiky, by the way, because uh, he will. He can be spiky. And also watch out for the homie missiles. They can be a pain in the ass. He can't get hurt by his own homie missiles, though. Actually, I want to grab this one, too. Okay, can I grab one of these? No? Okay. Grab as many as you can, though, because any little bit time, any small amount of time grabbing him will still do damage to him. So uh, it'll still do damage to those segments. So you want to grab them as often as, as, as you know. Grab as many segments as you can on the, at, while he's chasing by you. It's no harm in doing so. I want to destroy this one. I know it's going to make it hard to get the... But I got, I got one there, actually, so... Uh, there we go, I guess. But we got about half a segment. No, those are spiky! I I forgot that he can be spiky sometimes, even though I just said he can be spiky sometimes. So be careful, because he can be spiky sometimes. And you do not want it. Like, right now, he's... Well, part of him is spiky. Whatever, I'm just going to take the hit there just to kill that one. I don't really care, I am not getting a gold star anyway, so I may as well take this opportunity to, do, to take myself some damage. I don't know. Probably not the best logic I've, I've had, but... What you want to do is basically, at this point, um, this is like the second phase of him, where basically he's gonna... go all the way around and try to shoot a missile at you, and you actually have to attack him while he's shooting the missile, so... He's gonna swim all the way around, which suddenly he gets like twice as long. How does that work? But he uses the opportunity to destroy his segments, and can I get this last one? No, okay, so one more time. Just one more time to destroy this segment, and we will be able to finish the boss off. So, here we go. Swim around. Hurry up, there we go. And let's grab this last one. And the boss is dead. So, you know, he's not really a very hard boss. I sort of just fought him very clumsily. Mostly because I already lost my gold star anyway, so I can afford to. But he's really not a hard boss. Just be patient. Hit the segments when they're not spiky. And uh, try to hit multiple segments as once, too. And that last phase, as you can see, is really easy. So uh, if you can get him to that phase, you're pretty much in the clear. But a silver star, not bad. I'll take it. Um, and this is actually, oh, that's right. It's a boss. So uh, actually, I guess well, we have bossed in a lot of episodes now. But uh, with the boss, we get ourselves the rainbow bubble thing. And we unlock the next bunch of stages. So um, yeah, basically, you have to do stage five, unlock stage six and do stage 6 in order to unlock the next, bu next bunch of stages. So it's becoming a bit more complicated, obviously. You have to, you're required to do more stages. So, uh, well, there we go. Look at all those stages we have to do still. And we completed more of the checklist. I already said it's going to be the Golden Waddle D1. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. I completely forgot about that somehow. But, um, Gold Thrasher. Because we destroyed the Golden Waddle D. This is on page 5. Darn, we're doing well. So... There you go, guys. That is stage six. As you can see, 19 minutes for this stage. It's it's these up. These stages are getting long, guys. This is going to be the norm. So uh, long stages. I get is that good? Is that bad? Who knows? But uh, this is Lucky 7DX signing out. Stay tuned for next episode where we take on stage seven and complete this middle ring. Ha! I said middle ring. That's kind of funny. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.